today is very special. It's Read Across America Day, where we celebrate the joy of learning and literature. That's right. And our friend Karen Swenson is here with the story of an independent bookstore that quickly is becoming a neighborhood oh, favorite. Hey, we Karen. love this. Good Hi, Karen. Morning. And you know, Jenna, this is right up your alley. <laughs> it is called Baldwin and Company, and its owner, DJ Johnson, knows a thing or two about the impact books can have. At a moment when he was changing chapters in his own life, he realized that he wanted to share his passion for reading with his entire community. Take a look. Recommend um, Notes of Native Son is a great one, No Name the Street, another good one. Another good Books have always been life changing for DJ Johnson, ever since he was a young boy growing up in New Orleans. New Orleans at the time was a very rough city, littered with crime and impoverishment. But the thing that saved my life were books. When you were a little boy and you were reading those books, where did your mind take you? What the books taught me was that as a black man, there is more opportunity than what I see today. And took my imagination to cosmic places that I never even thought existed. One of the people who instilled in him the power of books was his mother, Marion Stewart. She's my rock. So I've never seen anyone work harder than this lady. Like she worked three jobs to send us to private school because she said, hey, the education will be your way out of these conditions. So DJ took advantage of every opportunity he was given, graduating from Clark Atlanta University and starting a successful career in Washington, D.C., working for the federal government. And then we get a call from mom. And my brother called me. And um, he tells me, you know, mom's in the hospital. Take a leave of absence and come down to New Orleans. Doctor pulls me aside. She's not going to get better. She's only going to get worse. And she doesn't have much longer to live. I refuse to believe it. With DJ's constant support, his mom's health improved. And DJ found himself at a moment of personal transition. I started walking around the community. I got known as the guy with the book. I would walk into restaurants and people would always say, man, you always got a book in your hand. So when a group of buildings went up for sale in DJ's childhood neighborhood, the answer seemed obvious. DJ's bookstore, Baldwin & Company, officially opened its doors in February of 2021. I would love to change the landscape of literacy in the entire city, and in the entire world. Coffee Talk is on a higher level here. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Like, this is a place of excellence. You're going to meet excellent individuals and everybody doing things at a high level to their superpower as being a connector because that's what they've been doing since they've been here, connecting partners and communities together to better serve this community. And two of his biggest supporters, his mom, Marion, and grandma, Hazel. You look pretty proud. Oh, I am extremely proud. I can tell you that from the time he was born, he always had a dream of doing big things. I know he was uh, born for greatness. Spreading the joy of reading has become a reality for DJ with the Baldwin and Company Foundation, an official nonprofit providing tutoring services, writers workshops, and donated books to members of the community. When people think about New Orleans, they think about party, they think about the festivals, but they don't think of us as a literary town. So I want to change that, and I want to spark a renaissance of creating a literary society out of New Orleans. We also had a special message for DJ from writer, poet, and New Orleans native Cleo Wade. New Orleans is special because it centers on community. There are a few places that capture this spirit more deeply than Baldwin and Company. I can't wait to come there, celebrate the city, do an author book signing, have a cup of coffee, and be in the community that they invest in and love so very much. Wow, I'm a huge fan of Cleo. Huge, huge fan, that's amazing. And there's a little bit more too. Atria Books, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster, mm -hmm. is gonna donate 100 copies of Cleo's Heart Talk. Wow. Indeed, and <laughs> Macmillan Publishers is going to donate 50 copies of Cleo's children's book, What the Road Said, so that you can continue oh, to spread goodness. the joy of learning and reading. I, I'm speechless, I'm, I'm honored. Thank you so, so much. I feel like this is just the beginning for you. I hope so. I, I really do hope so. Um, and I feel like it's just the beginning for society because as we create a more literary society, imagine the level of improvements that we make. Just so awesome. love him. Right. And Jenna, you're going to love this. Your March Book Club author, Diane Marie Brown, is going to be at Baldwin & Company. We did not know this when we shot this. She's going to be at Baldwin & Company 
tomorrow. Oh, oh how wow. awesome. With our novel. How great is that? Yes, right? Black Candle Women. I hope everybody in New Orleans will go and meet her. She's fantastic. She spent 10 years working on that book. So that's so great. It's now a hot spot. And he wants every child to have an opportunity to learn. And his goal is to give every child 13 books. So he considers mm -hmm. that a library. Yeah, that's to have amazing. their own personal library. People like him are changing lives. The power of one person to change a community. Yeah, it's amazing. It. Karen, we loved that story. Thank you Thanks, so Karen. much. Thank you both. And uh, our thanks to the New Orleans Book Festival at Tulane University for connecting us with Cleo and DJ. The festival returns next weekend. It's so awesome. We were there last year, March 9th through the 11th. It is free and open to the public. We hope y'all will all go check it out. Check it out. <laughs>